Today's video is all about microneedling with Derma E products. This video also includes a sheet mask tip with using the silicone mask cover. I've used these products together for years, and so this is a throwback video three years ago. This video is the second part of a series that I released on microneedling, so the microneedling 101 video is also linked here. Stay tuned because next week I'm going to release a Melanotan 2 video. Do you see how dark I am? This is from injecting the Melanotan 2 peptide. It's crazy, you guys. I've never seen anything work like this. So so another peptide for the magic win. And to stay true to form, here is this week's ab check. I don't really think anything has changed. You came back. This is week after I did the microneedling 101 video. And so we're going to basically kind of take what we talked about in the last video and put it into practice today. And maybe this will give you kind of more of an insight on kind of how my mind thinks on doing this. Also, before we go any further, let's do the disclaimer. My videos are created with adult women in mind. My videos are not for children. I mark my content as 18 plus. This video is for educational purposes only. Unfortunately, it has become obvious to me that there is an attack on real information that helps real women. This gross censorship is appalling and abusive. Help me combat this attack on useful true information by sharing this video with your friends and on your socials. Today's two products are first the Derma E Firming Serum with alpha lipoic acid and sea ester. I've been super impressed with this because I love Retin-A and Retin-A will make me flaky and it's amazing. And then I decided to switch to trying this and you guys, this also works extremely well. So if for some reason you have a hard time getting a hold of Retin-A or you don't like Retin-A, maybe it like makes you do that purge thing where you're constantly breaking out, try this one because I've been really, really impressed with how good it is at making me peely and I like that apparently. The other one to highlight is the Daiso and if you're new here, well then this method Mask will be your best friend. It is inexpensive, available on Amazon, and it really locks in your sheet mask. So you put on sheet mask, then you basically take this silicone cover and you coat it over your face and you can wear your sheet mask longer. It locks them in. The other reason we love them is because we can coat our faces in numbing cream and lay this over and lock it in till we're ready. And that is what we're going to be doing today because we are microneedling. I have all of my products set out. We're going to be doing cell termy stem cell with the pure. I'm going to be using Hyaluron, not injecting it, but we're going to be microneedling with it instead of using the Coste Baja Hyaluronic Acid, but although it is fantastic and if that's what you have, use it. And I love it, but I have a lot of this Hyaluron. This is great because this is 100% sodium hyaluronate. We're also going to be using Kiranex to help glow up my skin. Here it is. It says that it does an intense glow and shine and it's a rejuvenating amp it has BFGF in it, which is a basic fibroblast growth factor. It has EGF in it, which is the skin regeneration factor, right? So that's going to help you grow more skin. It has VEGF, which is an endothelial growth factor. So it's just got a ton of growth factors. It's got KGF, which is a skin cell growth factor. It's got TGFB, which is a transforming growth factor. It's got IGDL, which is, I guess, an insulin-like growth factor. It's going to help with uneven skin tone. It's going to help moisturize your skin. It's going to help with wrinkles, sagging skin, elasticity, skin rejuvenation, acne scar, and dark skin tone. I have it. We're going to microneedle it in. And last but not least, when we're finally done microneedling, I'm going to top with my Derma E and really infuse in the kind of actives that this has with that lipoic acid and this sea ester. Oh, and I will be using my Dr. Pen M8 with 216 cartridges because we're going to do my face and my neck and chest. We're going to get numbing. I have press and seal to lock it down with my handy Daiso. We keep on walking to fire, but we always get what's required. So many things we desire, but I only bring you a lighter. All right, we're back, and I'm numbed up. And if you were watching kind of the numbing reel, and you saw me doing a light rolling before putting on the numbing cream. Yes, I do do that. It just helps. You don't have to do that. I do a nice little light roll just to kind of help it get in faster. Once I'm done microneedling my neck, in the app there will be me placing threads in my neck and doing the Curinex Mezzo. So I was thinking we were gonna microneedle 
the Kiranex, but now instead I'm gonna syringe it. It's five milliliters in this, so we're gonna do two and a half milliliters in my neck and chest. And then once we've microneedled my face, we'll do threads in my face and the other two and a half milliliters of this in mezzo. Because we're all numbed up, we might as well do mezzo that way. But we're still gonna microneedle here for sure. Um, so we're gonna mix up our stem cell. We're gonna be using the Hyron. So we have our Hyron in there. Now we're gonna mix up our Feltermi. If you watched my Microneedling 101 video and I talked about the Coste Baja Hyaluronic Acid being perfect for microneedling, it is. Today, because I have the Hyron, which is just like that, but it's 100% sodium hyaluronate, whereas the Coste Baja is mixed with water also. I'm deciding to just use the Hyaluron as my like slip for warming up. And then we're gonna make up our cell termi stem cell. So here's the powder, and this is how it kind of comes, right? It's like powdery. And then here's the liquid we're gonna mix with it. And if you've never seen these kinds of caps, it's really important that you start at the circle mouth, like the half circle, and you peel back and then watch. It just like peels straight down, pulling that off, making it so much easier than lots of ways I've done it in the past. Back on. So my neck is clean, they're numb and ready to go. I'm unpackaging my first. M8 cartridge, and this is a 16 pin. There are my little pins just sticking up. They're at a one, and this has six levels, I believe, of speed, yeah. The higher you go, the faster it goes. I'm gonna go to four and see what that feels like. Okay, so that's feeling good. So I am at a one millimeter deep, and I'm at a four speed. And I'm just microneedling in this higher on. And if you're wondering why I'm still keeping the coating on my face while we do this, it's because I don't want to not be numb by the time we get to my face. Keep it coated so that it's ready to go when we're ready to remove it. So now we're going to go over my chest with the higher on, get this area all pricked up too. And here, I know I can move up. So we're gonna go up from a one to a two because it's just thicker, deeper skin. And this is where I get those deep, sudden lines. Well, I get them in my neck too, but here it's from sleeping and I just can't get myself to sleep on my back. It's just never gonna happen. So we're gonna microneedle and stick threads in it and do mezzo and anything we can to try to Keep it more youthful looking as I smash it every night on the side. Now it's time we can pick up our stem cell and just start brushing that on everything. Why don't we talk about this? Now we're done with this and I'm gonna replace this cartridge before we do my face. But for right now, I'm actually going to pause for a minute and we're going to do threads in my neck and mezzo in my neck. So I am gonna use that Kiranex. I'm going to create my syringes with it. And then I also have these threads, which I will be sticking in my neck. If you're in my app, then this video will be coming right after this video is done. So you'll be able to check it out in the app. Just to let you know, I did do a bunch of mezzo shots in my neck and I did 10 PCL coiled threads in my neck and chest. Six here and four here, right in like the center area. And this is like my little um, book that I have. It's PDO thread book. It is more than numb now, which is amazing. So here's another package of Hyron. These come like 10 in a box, so you do get a bunch. Okay, this is our old cartridge, so we're gonna get rid of that and we're going to pop on a new one. I don't know where my new one went. Had it, here it is. Again, this is a 16 pin cartridge. We're going to put it up to a level one, put it at a four. This will be the most tender part of this because there's just not a lot of meat up here. Where I go here first to make sure that we get it done before the numbing starts wearing off. Ooh, nice and numb, kind of not there, but here. <laughs> I also try to micro needle into like my hairline because I want to start getting my hairline to like 
grow and not go away. So you can kind of like micro needle in there. Again, some people might have a concern about sterilization or infection. I'm personally not concerned about that as far as like, I think I'm fine. But if you're concerned about hair, if you're concerned about numbing cream, you can always wipe your face down with alcohol. Okay, so this is my chicken pox scar. And we're just going to kind of like go over it and make sure it knows it needs to soften more higher on. And now we can go down other areas of my face, like underneath my eyes. I'm also going to go on my eyelids, under eye lines, and around the crow's feet. For my cheek and this area, I'm gonna move it up to a two and see how that feels. These are things I'm testing for my skin. You're gonna to have to troubleshoot this for your own skin because you and I have different depths on our face and areas. Sometimes at two millimeters deep, you will maybe start stabbing a bit, like picking it up and stabbing, depending on the area. Cause sometimes certain areas will be deep enough and then other ones like immediately change. I'm gonna move it back to a one really quick so that I can get my lip. If you get that wrinkle in your chin, microneedling can help soften it. Okay, so now I feel like we're ready to put on the stem cell. We've gotten lots of pricks everywhere. The stem is a little bit thinner than the Hyron, so it spreads easier. But your skin closes up really fast. So since the time we gave it Hyron, it's already probably closing up. So that's the reason we're gonna restab as we coat this in. I mean, this is kind of like the skin goo that you sometimes get in the cartridge or all the time. I mean, it's like my skin plus... It kind of reminds me of like goo that you would see in uh, Ghostbusters. Just gonna let it keep infusing into my face. And then we're gonna do some LED light treatment and then we're gonna coat with our active, our Derma E alpha lipoic acid and that's gonna just like infuse in deeper and then I'm pulling more stem down into my neck. You can see that I got pinpoint bleeding but I didn't like have droplets of blood. If I had microneedled any deeper on my forehead definitely we would have had blood coming down my face. I'm gonna let it dry and then we'll light mask. Okay, so all of our serums have dried in and now I'm gonna give myself some LED treatment. I'm using my Omnilux LED medical grade lights that are battery operated. I've been using these now for like the last three weeks. I am doing a review on them right now. I thought it'd be great to do them after microneedling because I love doing red light therapy. But they have this neck piece that I got and then I click on my button. Now it's on. It's going to run for 10 minutes. I can stick it in my pocket. Then same thing with the face one. I just finished my LED chest and face mask and already I noticed because I thought this was going to grow into like a big bruise. It already seems to be subsiding. I didn't really bruise my face very much. It should look pretty good tomorrow. So in the morning, I'll show you what it looks like. I think the other thing that you can do if you're interested is you can just like put on a sheet mask. I love sheet masking after microneedling. It feels so good. Right now I feel tight and burnt. So like I can stick this in the refrigerator, shove it on my face. It will just be a nice cooling effect. All right, you guys, this is two weeks out from the microneedling session. I just wanted to do a quick recap to make sure that you guys saw what my skin looks like before and after and also my chest. Now you can see that, well, I got a zit right here. So yeah, I'm picking up that. And then you can see that I still have a little bit of bruising from my mezzo and the PDO threads that I did there. But overall, I mean, you guys look at the glow. I don't have anything on my skin besides like an essence for just for moisturizing because I wanted to make sure that I was clean. And you can see that it's just so pretty and this is what happens when you are consistent with your skincare and with microneedling you will get this like crazy glow i know the thrashing of the skin makes everyone nervous i get that i don't love that either but i love this so anyways thanks guys Bye.
Thank you for joining me for this week's video. I hope it was helpful and gave you some more insight on how to microneedle at home with available products you can easily source on Amazon. I'll see you guys next week on the Melanotan 2 video.